Okay, I think the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, machine a part here now for the uh, depth stop, the lock and stop, where I can lock it in position. It'll go on the right side of the handle. It'll come across here, and it'll be. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the clamping style. I don't like putting uh, screws, set screws, or any kind of locking screws tight against a shaft. Um, it just doesn't give the proper support as a locking ring does, as this here locking ring here. That's more support than if I were to put a screw through and hold a uh, uh, something in position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, uh, a block here of some sort. I have to get some measurements here with a long handle and that I can clamp it back here and it would tighten up and tighten against the bar here for the uh, depth stop and the depth lock. So what I need to do now is get some measurements here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this up what I need for the dimensions that I need and uh, it's going to be the bar here. Then there is this part right here which is the main body. So I need a distance between here and here, between here and the handle itself. I also need to get the width of the handle, the length of the handle here, and it's between here and here, so let's get to work on this. Alright, the shaft itself is about 660. Okay, so 0 0.6 diameter, 0.66 inches. The distance between the bar and the bracket are looking at roughly uh, 355, about 360 we'll call it, between here and here, 0 0.360, between here and here. Alright, so now we want to get this here distance here now between the main body of the router and the bra and the guide bar here and that's almost around uh, we can call that a point uh, that's about a half inch that's roughly half inch maybe here to there I want to get the width here now of the bracket itself and that is uh, point that's about one inch that's one inch Okay, so that's one inch this way here now. So now I got all my dimensions I need here. One inch wide. The guide bar is 660 thousandths. There's uh, almost three eighths of an inch between here and here, and about a half inch between here and here. So now I can start uh, going on my CAD program and I can start designing the uh, locking mechanism for this. And that's what's coming up next one last measurement here and that would be the length of the uh, handle bracket here that I'm going to be screwing on to and that's about uh, 980, 880, 880 thou. Alright, so that's the last measurement I need is 0.88 in between there and there. Okay, now you got it. Ready to go with this now.